If you're doing any type of research online, or just simply Google something, you will likely face this question. Is Wikipedia reliable? Well, the answer to this question might be more complicated than you would think. In this video, we will explore different reasons about whether you should or should not trust Wikipedia. And at the end of this video, I will talk about my own views on the topic. One of the main criticisms of Wikipedia not being reliable is that anyone can write anything on the website without citing sources or having any expertise on the article they are contributing to. As long as they are human, of course. But it is going to bother you because you're human. And, and I was human. I am human. Still. Um... Which leads us to the first reason that you shouldn't trust Wikipedia. Its open editing system often leads to untrustworthy results. Okay, so there are times when Wikipedia might produce inaccurate information, but besides being inaccurate, the content might be biased towards one side or the other. Now, as we mentioned previously, anyone can contribute to Wikipedia. Not only are the contributors not guaranteed to be reliable, they might be biased in their writing. Here is the truth. We are all prejudiced. And this is because we, as human beings, are all different and unique. And since we are different, we can't be expected to be unbiased. Also, if you want data, statistics, and real-time information, Wikipedia might not be the right place for you to go. Instead, the correct choice would be to explore government census, research journals, or the specific website for the topic. These are the main reasons why a lot of teachers don't recommend their students use Wikipedia. And by now you probably understand their reactions when students do use them. Oh no! God! No! God! Please, no! 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 But everything I just said is nothing new. Wikipedia has been criticized so often that changes are that you have already heard one or more of the reasons above. Surprisingly, there are a few reasons why Wikipedia is useful, and we will now take a look at each of them. I mentioned previously that Wikipedia allows its users to edit articles, and while it might cause some issues, it also gave rise to a large community of voluntary fact-checkers who monitor the articles to make sure that they are well-written, easily comprehensible, and factual. Now, Wikipedia is a non-profit and operates on user donation, which means that it won't hire a bunch of people to do the fact-checking, but the people doing it aren't expecting payment either. A second reason that contributes to the reliability of Wikipedia is that it has an editing history. This is extremely important for Wikipedia because of two reasons. One, if someone vandalized the articles, they can figure out who is behind it and ban that person. And two, when the articles does get vandalized, they can be restored back to their original form with minimal effort. Remembering how Wikipedia has a team of fact checkers, part of their job is to make sure that the articles aren't demolished. Speaking of fact checkers, it is also a good time to mention Wikipedia citation features, which, as the name implies, allows editors to cite external sources like websites, articles, and research papers. If you scroll to the bottom of a Wikipedia article, under references, you will find a lot of MLA citations referencing to the original source. However, it is important to note that not everything in the articles have references, so you might want to be careful when using the citation feature to decide what information to trust. Now that we summarized each of the three reasons for whether you should trust Wikipedia or not, I would like to present my view on the problem. Overall, I think that Wikipedia is a great tool if you want to get some general information, but it's not so great when it comes to uh, opinions or other sensitive topics.